Welcome to Extra Extra presented by VDG Sports. I am your host, Vince Douglas Gregory. No filter. Very sincere. I am about that life. Yeah, I come to the conclusion I'm about that life. After uh, testing out, after being on a probationary period for about two years now, uh, roughly give or take, possibly three, but definitely more than one. Definitely more than one and a half years, that's for sure. After that, I've come to the conclusion that this is something that I'm going to do moving forward. This is something that it, it, it just, it's, it fits. It fits. And it is it. I am 100% on board. 100% on board in all of the repercussions, consequences, or, or taking the risk. This is definitely a calculated risk that I've thought about, stayed up late, 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 late at night sometime, thinking about it, of course, wanting uh, more examples, wanting more evidence, wanting more indications or indicators to let me know, hey, you are doing an okay job. You are doing the right thing. See, nothing ain't happened yet. Nothing has not happened yet. And I'm trying to figure out, and I'm trying to figure out when did this become a thing for me? There's a moment in time that I can go back and point to where I was a little bit, um, I was a little bit sloppy. I was a little bit messy and things did not go according to plan when it came to my electronic device and it not being uh, destroyed. And I'm definitely not one of those peeps or people who drop their cell phone, their celly, their telly, in uh, in the porcelain goddess, me and the porcelain goddess have a special, unique bond, a special, unique relationship. I'm not gonna force feed her food that she don't want to eat. I know what she likes. I know what she loves. I know how she likes for me to to rub the side of her when I'm just so tired and drained. And need fluids. But it's okay. We in this together. We in this together. So I don't force feed her my uh, telephone, cell phone. So I don't usually, or I don't drop that down down there. That's That has not been an issue. And that would be something else that I've come across that is fairly, fairly common, fairly common amongst the peeps out in the wild. Amongst the peeps out in the wild, dropping your celly telly or your mobile in the camo, in the toilet, in the loo. I don't have that issue. I don't have that problem. In me living dangerously, me being the bad boy, me being reckless or uh, thoughtful. That isn't, that, that would not be a problem even if all of those other things were true. Because my badness, my rebellion comes from not putting a case 
on my cell phone. Regs, you already know. Non-verbal communicating peeps. I just wanted to say your name. And that was a head nod for the, for everybody else. In the, uh, that was a head nod so everybody else can know. But non-verbal communicating peeps, you knew. Noobs, you got no clue. Noobs, it is okay. Noobs, hang in just a little bit longer. We almost there. We getting there. It's the setup. It's the setup. Got to get the setup right. If the setup ain't right, the execution is poor. If the execution is poor, then why even bother? Why even bother? We just can stop right here. Stop right here, then I won't feel good about it. If I don't feel good about it, it's because we had to stop. Why do we have to stop? See? See that cycle? See? Got to stay out of the cycle. Have to stay out of the cycle. And that's putting that, uh, putting a case on my cell phone. Uh, I am 1000% past doing that again. Do I have worries? Yeah. Am I concerned? Of course. Do I, am I troubled? Just the, just the tad. I'm troubled just the tad because there is that tenth of a percent that something that I'm not prepared for will happen, will occur, will catch me off guard. But hopefully all of the other mechanisms and protections that I built in and have will be enough. Not to mention the phone itself being the phone itself being reliable, durable, and can withstand whatever it is I will be putting it through in that tenth of a percent that I can't really project out ATM at the moment, at the moment. And it's not like I haven't dropped my phone. Since uh, I have not had it in a case, I've dropped it several times. There's actually marks on it. There's actually scratches. There's actually dents. But what about the resale value? Well, about that. About that. I don't never really get equal value anyway. And it seems as though it'll be better for me to keep the device and get a new one and maybe pass that one down or pass that one alone along, but giving it back or selling it back or trading it in. Nah, that, that does not bring me the same value as it used to. So the scratches and the dents and all the other things that they could potentially deduct from my device. That will not be the case for me. That is not the issue for me. And if that is something of your concern, I can get it. I understand. I am one with you in that sense. I am one with you in that sense. I understand. It's not about the phone, really. It's about the next step. But riddle me this. When is it not going to be about the next step? And you will just settle on the phone. Friendly reminder, friendly reminder, friendly reminder. Bird like voice. Friendly reminder. Uh, there isn't much of a difference with the phones anymore. There really isn't that much of a difference with the phones anymore, unless there's just a particular design that you want to go for and want to shoot for that the previous generation doesn't have or didn't have, or you just changing, uh, models, 
changing manufacturers, changing makers of said phone, period. Then, okay, yeah, I get it. You want the new, new. I can't, I can't knock you for wanting the new, new, because I want the new, new, too. I do. But not necessarily when it comes to phones every year, annually. It's not, it's got to be enough of the new, new to make me assume, to make me trick myself into thinking that it is really and truly an upgrade and something different because moving the needle just a couple of millimeters, just a couple of millimeters, that doesn't register for me. It doesn't really register for me an advanced camera on top of advanced camera on top of advanced camera or best camera one year, best camera next year, best camera next year. So basically every year is going to be a best camera until the next year. And then it's going to be a best camera that year. So how about this? I'm just going to hold on to the best year camera for this year. It's still the best camera for that year. Exactly. So there's no need to continue to chase the hype. There's no need for me to continue to chase the dream. And that's why having my phone in a case to protect it for when I resell it back or when I resell it or when I trade it in or when I do something to it because I'm not going to have it for a year or I'm not going to have it but for only a year. No, 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 no. I don't fit that. Not anymore. No. I've seen, I seen the light. The little hamster wheel in my head, it's just been going. It's just been going. It does not stop. It, and I came to the conclusion. Wait a minute. Why am I renting my phone? I'm only having it for a year and I'm paying this extraordinary, extraordinary cost. It's huge. This big, big cost. And then I'm losing on the back end only to lose more and more because the value still solid to me of the device. However, the newer device is higher and I'm getting lesser for my previous one. And that creates this empty space of making up the difference of coming from somewhere, probably my pocket. That's why me not having the case is easier. I'm not concerned about the resale value. Also, I always heard, I always remember, I can recall. Yeah, at some point, phones were cell phones, mobiles were being made to be attractive, were being made to be something that you want to see, being made for something that to show off with. If you got it in the case, you're not showing off. If you got it in the case, you're not seeing it. You're not seeing it. You're making it heavier. You're making it uglier and I don't care. I do not care how color coordinated the case is, how unique the case can be. It is still a block, a hollowed out block that's, that's flexible, that, that ain't rigid, that you putting over your device because you don't trust yourself. Who's the real Risk taker now. 
Who's the real risk taker now? And I take calculated risks, but I trust myself enough to know that I'm not going to just take my phone and throw it like a baseball, throw it like a football, kick it like a football. Nah, Mm -mm. I'm not about that life, but I am about the life of not having a case on my phone. I trust myself enough to not do those things I mentioned, to drop it in the porcelain goddess. I trust myself enough to not even make the the same mistake that I made so long ago that gave me pause for cause of going this direction to begin with. And that was trying to play the basketball with a phone in my pocket. It worked until I went up for the layup. It worked until I went up for the layup. And next thing I know, it came out the pocket, hit the ground. And when I came down, my foot hit it to make sure that it was completely destroyed. That was so long ago. I was distracted. I was distracted. I wasn't focused. I wasn't really concentrating. And, and. The phone wasn't as durable as phones are now. The phone wasn't as durable as phones are now. So I'm a little bit more comfortable in my decision. I am comfortable in my decision because I want to see and I want to hold my phone. I want it to be lighted. I want to see the colors. I want to see the designs. I want to see the designs. Why else have a phone other than to use it as a phone? It's a miniature computer. I get that. I understand. You, you should know. I, I, uh, I treat my, uh, computers and I protect my computers very, very well. And that doesn't necessarily mean that they have to be enclosed within something. It just means that I know how important this is. So that's built in of how I make moves, how I move around, how I hold myself, how I position myself. And now it's become second nature. And it's not like me going around walking on eggshells and trying not to break and smash the remaining of the eggshells. Uh Uh-uh. This is me seeing the eggshells and just walking like, oh, somebody, eggshells. All right. Let me not walk in the eggshells. Let me walk in this clear path right here. It's one of those. It's built in. And I don't have to have the inner monologue. I'm just not going to walk in the eggshells. I'm just going to walk around. I'm just going to walk around. Granted, it did take some time to uh, build up this muscle memory. But hey, I wouldn't trade it for anything, especially a new device, especially a new device. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Be sure to check out the website at extra extra dot VDG sports.com extra extra dot VDG sports.com. And this episode was not, is not being sponsored by Vince Douglas Gregory.com. Vince Douglas Gregory.com is where you can keep up with me, my whereabouts, and everything in between. All things Vince. There's a YouTube as well. Like, subscribe, share, do whatever it is you do there. Comment if you may. Comment if you must. You know you want to. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Peace. 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 Oh. Nope, nope, nope. Go ahead. We out. (laughs) 